Hey guys, so I thought I'd make a quick video about um, doing a, a subwoofer upgrade in the Hummer AV. Um, I saw uh, somebody posted on Facebook about uh, how they did theirs, um, so I just wanted to uh, make a video and help out anybody else who's trying to do this. So we'll just do a quick walkthrough of how to remove the subwoofer and um, how to uh, install the new one. So this is in the, in the truck. I think in the SUV, there's a couple more panels that you have to remove, but in the truck, the subwoofer is just under the rear seat. Um, and there's a few, uh, I think they're 10 millimeters that hold it down to the floor. So you just undo those. And um, there's one in the back there too. And then the box comes out. Okay, so after removing the four nuts, you can uh, pull the, uh, the box out. There is your subwoofer. Um, there's an electrical connection there. So I'll unplug it and then I can take the box out of the truck because um, I think you have to enlarge this hole. So I'll take this uh, speaker out and then use the template that came with the new one and um, enlarge the hole, make sure it all fits and then reinstall. Okay, so I've got the box here and I've got the new eight inch Polk speaker. Um, it comes with this, so I guess you could use it as a template. It just looks like um, a foam gasket that you put in. And um, I'll post a model in the description, but it's right here. DB842SVC, so it's a single vo voice coil, four ohm. Um, so it kinda, it'll fit. If you take a look, it, it'll pretty much screw in at the top here. Um, so you gotta pull the speaker out and then, like I say, enlarge the opening so this thing fits. Okay, so I've got the speaker out, got it disconnected. So this connector here, we'll have to cut it off and then we'll just use regular um, terminals on, on the wires because obviously this speaker just has regular speaker connections. Um, I'll try to figure out which one is positive, which one's negative. I don't know if these are labeled or not. Um, but I'll see what I can figure out. But for now, what we need to do is make this fit in there. So using this foam ring, it kind of gives us an idea of what uh, all needs to be trimmed. Um, so we kind of can try to line it up with the factory contour to um, not have to cut as much. That kind of looks like the closest that uh, you can get it. Um, so I'll go ahead and mark it and um, then get to cutting. I'm almost thinking about maybe just making a new box um, instead of destroying this one. But because um, I'm assuming a replacement box isn't cheap, but I don't see it ever really going back to the stock speaker. I don't see a reason for that. So should be, um, I think we'll just cut this one and hope for the best. All right, so after a good bit of cutting, I've got, got it to fit in there. Um, actually, I ordered spacers to um, space it up a bit but it actually seems to fit pretty good i might not even need the spacers so now i'll go ahead and get the wire in there get it hooked up and um, then probably use this gasket and i might maybe use some black silicone or something after just to seal it because in some spots it may not be sealed all that well Okay, so the best I can tell, um, so you see this one is marked positive, and looking at the back, it looks like the top pin goes to the positive side and the bottom pin goes to the negative. It's kind of impossible to tell for sure without completely destroying this connector, but that's what I'm gonna go with. And then looking at the connector itself. If I uh, plug it in here, so 
the top pin is the white with red and bottom pin is the white with green so we'll go with uh, white and red being positive and wire it up that way okay so to confirm i actually found a video online of how you figure out which one's positive which one's negative because the the uh, the new speaker wasn't marked either plus or minus so i figured out that the the fat um, connector is the plus and the skinnier one is the minus and the way you do this is you just take a battery and you uh, take your wires it's kind of hard to do this one-handed because i don't have my um, uh, tripod but you take your battery you take your wires hopefully you guys can see this so I'll take my negative on the negative on the battery, positive on the positive. And if you look at the speaker in the background, the speaker moves up. So that means, so I'm taking the red and putting it on the plus and the speaker moves up. And then if you go the other way, if you take your negative, put it on the plus and the uh, positive, put it on the minus, the speaker moves down. So that way I confirmed that the red wire is in fact positive and the, sorry, the white and red and the white and green is negative. So I'll wire this one the same way. All right, so I went ahead and uh, plugged it back in, checked it out, it all works fine, sounds pretty good. So I used the bolts that came with the, uh, with the new subwoofer, screwed it in. And then like I say, um, I'll get some silicone or something and just fill down below in any of the gaps because there is, I could feel some air pushing out um, just in, in a couple different spots. So I think I'll seal it and then it'll be, uh, it'll be nice and sealed. So now I can go ahead and reinstall the box and uh, that'll be that. Okay, so the box is back in. Everything's bolted back together. It looks uh, just like factory. So that's it. Now we can enjoy a little more bass. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, more videos coming.